Joy, we have a friend who's passed, and I want you to talk about him a little bit. He's one of the earliest and loudest voices in the AIDS crisis, trailblazing, outspoken activist Larry Kramer. He passed away at 84, and he left a huge impact. And I know you knew him as well, Joy. Well, yes, thank you for mentioning that. I mean, I interviewed Larry Kramer many times, once on my radio show. I mean, he believed... As his website says, he was an activist in the truest sense, uh, and, and they say, we advise and inform, we demonstrate, we are not silent. I think that that is the legacy of Larry Kramer, that he refused to be silent in the middle of the AIDS crisis, and he spoke up and he created the, the gay men's health crisis and act up. And when I interviewed him one time on my show on CNN, he said, people should have a mouth like you and me. <laughs> You know, and, uh, you know, our mouths get us into trouble, plenty of trouble. But that's the way that anything changes, if you open your mouth and speak out. And another, another quick, quick interview I did with him, I said to him one time on the radio show I had, why are you attacking Elizabeth Taylor? Elizabeth Taylor is on your side. He was going after Elizabeth Taylor. And he said, because Elizabeth Taylor will do something. The government does not hear me, does, will not hear you, just like now. We're alone in this. You have to talk to the people who actually can do something and will do something. So he left quite a legacy, Larry Kramer. The world is, is a sorry place without him right now, in my opinion. And he was also a brilliant playwright. He wrote a play called The Normal Heart, which you That's may it. or may not know about. It's extraordinary.